And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Toronto Blue Jays and the Boston Red Sox. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us, and partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you've got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And on the hill in this one, Brian Bayo. Well, that whip is just below the league average, and that's a good thing in this case, not allowing too many base runners. So on most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win, and I expect to see that from him in this one today. Okay, all set to go. And now, Whit Merrifield and a pitch. Close one, doesn't get the call. And we're underway from Fenway. And the 1 0. Out in front and foul to the left side. Here's a 1 1. That's the ball. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a foul straight back. 2-2 two, two on the way. And that's in the dirt. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Boog, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but... He did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Up to the plate is Brandon Belt. Now moves to first. Merrifield dives back in. Brandon Belt, who grew up in Texas, played his college ball at the University of Texas and then went on to win... World Series with the Giants in 2012 and 2014. They called him the captain for a couple of years. Yeah, and I remember Bruce Bochy talking about Brandon Belt when he was just coming up to the big leagues and said he was a left-handed Buster Posey. Next offering is in for a strike. Merrifield on at first. Nobody out. Bayo throws over. Merrifield gets back easily. Righty delivers. And that one is inside. And that one finds its way through. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. The 1-0. Oh. And there's the strike. Next pitch inside, and yeah, that's ball two. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Kicks and deals. Swinging a foul straight back.
at the belt and fires. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. No outs, runners at first and second. And a swing and a miss, and one gone. Here's George Springer. Ball one, no strikes. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Double steal. Foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. And fouled off. One out. Runners at first and second. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Matt Chapman. First offering, misses the mark. And the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the wall. One runs in. Relay throw. The tag out. But one run does score in the play before the inning ends. But they push across one run, three hits, no errors, and one left. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Blue Jays one and the Red Sox nothing. Back here at Fenway. And today's starter, Hunjin Ryu. And Chris, he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. So coming into the game now on defense, Kevin Biggio. He'll play second. We go to the bottom of the first. Now here is Jaron Duran. That one misses in the dirt. And now the lefty. Two balls, no strikes to count. Upstairs. Here's a 3 0. And that's in for a strike. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And a pitch. To the right side. Whips it to first on the run. One up, one down. Batting second. The right fielder. Here's Alex Verdugo. First pitch oh, just misses. Just oh, missed. Two and oh. Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to third, and Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. Downstairs and it misses ball four. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Man at first with one gone and stepping in the rookie left fielder Masataka Yoshida. Pitch misses there and that's ball one. Verdugo stands at first with one out. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Hammer down the right side, but foul. Ooh. 
1 1 now. Swing and a little roller right side. Quick feed to second for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. So they make short work of them there. On to the second from Fenway Park. It's the Blue Jays one and the Red Sox nothing. Back here at Fenway as we go to the second. Second inning set to go. And now for the Jays, Danny Jansen. Bayo back to work. And ball one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next one misses at a count two and one. And a foul ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Batting seven, the designated hitter. Dalton. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. That's in there, and that is strike one. And the right hander deals. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boot from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers. They work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff. Tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. Next offering is down low. And it's one and two. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And now Santiago Espinal had a strike. Righty to the plate. Way out front for strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Next pitch downstairs. Going to count one and two. It's a good take. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Here's Kiermaier now. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0. Kicks and fires. Swings through that. One and one. The one and one. Good eye right there. Two and one.
And that's okay. downstairs and outside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. On the ground, right side. Arroyo whips it to first. And that will end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Blue Jays one and the Red Sox nothing. Back here at Fenway Park. Leading bottom off. half of inning well, number no, two. Down. So here's Boston's number cleanup hitter, Rafael Devers. Devers. Rafael Devers part of that 2018 team that won it all but over the past couple of years he has really turned into Yo, one of the top the hitters certainly one of the top left-handed hitters in the American one League no next offering pop foul off to the right out of play yeah and his ability to handle pitches as well outside the zone on the fringes just impressive I know we'll never forget the night that he hit a home run off of Aroldis Chapman slightly above the top of the strike zone and just clobbered it to left center field yeah that pitch was over a hundred miles an hour from Chapman and he raked it out of the ballpark that one ripped Makes the grab one down. Made a bid for a nice opposite field double down the line. Beautiful swing, but nothing you can do about the result. Third basemen are just used to handling hot shots like that. Adam Duvall at the play. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Roberto's number one tool had to be his rocket arm. The bat's not far behind, though. Tremendous opposite field power. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. Did not go. The why to kick the pitch. Nope. Ball two. Two balls. One strike. Strike two. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed, gets the out. Now batting Tristan Casas. And takes low for ball one. The wind of the pitch. That one missed. And now three the count filled up three, three and two. And a three two. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So, a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Christian Arroyo in the box now. No balls and a strike. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Casas off of first with two away. Next offering is fouled back. Next pitch is popped up. 
Guerrero makes the catch and that'll do it nothing across on no hits no errors and a runner left we play two full it's the Blue Jays one and the Red Sox nothing new inning getting started now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays Whit Merrifield Merrifield The right-hander back to work. That's to third. Tosses across yeah. to first. And a quick out number one. Batting second. The second baseman. Kevin. Kevin Biggio up Biggio. to the plate. Taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. The pitch. Hard hit, right side. Over to first. And they get Biggio for the out. Now batting the first base. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Vladdy handling the duties at first, hitting third in the lineup, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. Ball one, oh, no oh. strikes. One and oh. Knocks it down. Jesus. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Come on, Sox. Right. And that's in for a strike. pitch there's a strike and at bat like this is almost over as it begins in this situation you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be you just got to hope that you can make contact here's the 0-2 knocks that one away and we'll do it again the 0-2 popped up Chang gets under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Blue Jays held in check, but they still lead it 1 0. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in, Reese McGuire. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Looked like oh, it was a little nice. bit up. And the 1 0 oh. misses low. 2 0 oh to Cal. Here it comes. And there's a ball. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 oh count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And so the lefty. Allows the leadoff free pass. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk, and that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Getcher might want to go talk to him. And now here is Yu Chang. The next offering misses. And the count is 2 and 0. Oh. And a pitch. That misses off the outside edge. Jaron Duran on deck for Boston. Nobody out. Runner at first. 
Pitch is in for a strike. And now three and one. And there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So the lineup flips over. And stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. Grounded out his first time up. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And first offering is fouled off. Left-hand hitter waits. And strike two. First and second here, no outs. Got him. One gone here. And next for the Red Sox, Alex Verdugo. He reached out a walk his first time. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. And he deals. And that one wrapped foul. McGuire over at second. Chang over at first. So going away. And a swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now it's going to be Masataka Yoshida. 0 for 1 so far. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in day out and the first pitch misses for ball one next offering upstairs two walks in the inning already and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them the 2-0 is in for a strike And he pumps it a strike. Here's the 2-2. Fights it off. He'll see another. In the air, left field. Merrifield in pursuit. Brings it in. And that is that. Boston strands a pair. They're down 1 0. Start of the fourth. Now it's Matt Chapman. It's interesting. He plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has. Swing and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. And that one is off the wall. The relay to third. He's in there. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Came screaming off the bat. I'm sure exit velocity is off the charts. No doubt he squared that baseball up perfectly. So there was no fluke to that triple by any means. Any chance at a hit here. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Runner at third here. Nobody out. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field.
That just misses, and the count is three and one. Started at the 3-1. Now a check. And down to first we go. And he held up. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one finds the corner. And it's 0-1. He's looking for a strikeout or a ball on the ground for a double play to sort of calm this situation down. Out to center. Duvall under it. And he makes the catch. Runner tags from third. The throw is offline and he's in to score. It's 2-0. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. Struck out swinging his first time. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. First offering, runner goes. Here comes a pinch. Runner goes again. On the ground, right side. And it gets by him. Verdugo to third, and he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. Now batting. The Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. And that's in there for strike one. Now wanted one. Jansen, the runner at third. Espinal at first. One gone. The one one is fouled off. That one not close. The count now two and two. And he grounds one to the right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. 2-2 Two -two now. High in the air, out to right. Verdugo ranging after it. He's there. He's got it. Runner tagging from third. He'll score on the sack fly. And they're up by three. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. So the batting order turns over. Whit Merrifield digs in now. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. On the ground to the left. Sends it across the first, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Blue Jays three and the Red Sox nothing. Back here in Boston, Leading now the third baseman, Rafael Devers. The third baseman, 
Well, well, after putting up a nice inning on Never. offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats right back up there while they're hot. Put. Next offering is in for a strike. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Bernanski. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw, you know? Yeah, no question. So stepping in for Boston, Adam Duvall went down on strikes his first time through. Strike one. Singy, so Adam Duvall's a guy that's had a nice career, but 2021, the year that was kind of the signature year in his resume. Yo one. This to third, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Well, most importantly, a World Series champion with the Atlanta Braves. First inning World Series Grand Slam. The swing he will never forget. The next pitch misses, and that is ball one. Duvall split that season between Miami and Atlanta in 21. Ended up winning the gold glove, and he led the National League and runs batted in. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. So digging in, Tristan Casas. And the first pitch misses for ball one. There's a strike. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Next nope. pitch misses, that's and that's ball two. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. That one in for a strike, two and two. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Makes the catch, and there's two down. Up next for the Red Sox, the second baseman, Christian. Here's Christian Arroyo. Arroyo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs. That misses the zone. One and two to count. Next pitch has popped up. Guerrero makes the grab, and that is that. One left for the Red Sox. They trail it here, three nothing. We go to the top of the fifth, and now for the Jays, Kevin Biggio. Kevin. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as? moments at Fenway Park 
Wow. You know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an oh. Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox, two games to none. All we needed to do was close out a Saturday night ball game. We went extra innings. The Red Sox won that ball game. And then Sunday, they pushed the series by winning game four back to Oakland for game five. And unfortunately, they won game five as well. The 2-0 is in for a strike. That was 2003, and the Red Sox would eventually get their hearts broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. And that's off the inside edge. And now three balls and a strike. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Laddie stands in now and watches strike one. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Nick Pavetta up and throwing. Schreiber getting cranked up as well. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. Vladdy with a star scraper. And they add on. It's five zip. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Joe Jakes. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the bump. And the batter is George Springer. That's in for a strike. Well, these Jays really impressed me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Line drive, base hit. Back-to-back -back base hits, hooked around no, that man. pitch on the outside, the but he was still able to square man. it up pretty nicely, yeah. and that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Man at first, and here is Matt Chapman. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. That Ooh. one's in there, 0-1. And that one hammered back there. And that one is gone. Matt Chapman bops one out of here. Home run number 15 on the year. It's 7 0. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run, to the slight opposite field, into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Now it's Jansen in the head. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. The wind of the pitch. That misses. And that's ball one.
The pitch. And down on strikes. And one out now. And now the DH, Dalton Varsho. Varsho. On the ground, right side. Whips it to Casas. That's it out. The batter, number five, shortstop, Santiago. Santiago Espinal, next up for the Blue Jays. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. There's a strike. The one one. And a foul ball. One two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. The one two. Line drive. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Runner at first with two away. Kevin Kiermeyer, the next to hit. Ball one, no strikes. Espinal leads off first with two down to the inning. That one fouled off. And here it comes. Just missed. Breaking ball in there for a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Here's a 2-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The 2-2 on the way. On the ground, right side, Arroyo. And that oh. is the third out of the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 7 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Fenway, John Chambi with my buddy Chris Red Singleton. Top. It's set to get us the started. Kitchen. Bottom five, Reese, Reese McGuire. McGuire. Ryu back to work foul ball there you know these Red Sox just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one you really can't pin it on one player because we've seen soft contact up and down this lineup it's time to make some adjustments because this approach is just off Merrifield pulls it in for the out and there's one down How about it? Shortstop, you. and now the yeah. shortstop you Chang. Worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. The cause for these struggles is a little different for each guy. For some, it's timing, and for others, it's mechanics. Whatever it is, they need to start hitting the ball harder. Swing and a miss, oh, and it's 0-2. Next offering misses, and a count one and two. And now two and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. 
He goes down looking. Well, not much you can argue with there as a hitter. That pitch was dotted on the inside corner of the plate. I think even if he swings the bat, it blows him up and not really able to do anything with it anyhow. I think if you see that early, then perhaps you can pull those hands a little bit tighter and get the fat part of the bat to it. But I'd say overall, you just have to tip your cap on that one. Great execution. Now batting Jaron Duran. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. In the air, right field. Springer on the move. Pulls it in on the run. And that's the inning. Nothing doing for Boston. They continue to trail 7 0. Back inside Fenway Park. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six with Merrifield up to the plate and a pitch. That one is blasted left field towards the monster. And it's off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. So up next, Kevin Biggio. In there for strike one. He's trying for third. Pitch is high. Throw to third, save. That wasn't close. Wow, these guys are merciless. I'd say a questionable decision to steal third right there with a the big lead probably won't be received well in the other dugout. In there. And so now one and two. One ball, two strikes. No outs, runner over at third. Next pitch is in the dirt, two and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's gonna end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle and you get it right where you want it. And now the lefty got it by him for the K. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time, and that'll score a run. He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Righty reliever out of the pen, Nick Pavetta. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. George Springer next up for the Blue Jays. One for three. Check swing, tried to hold up, now an appeal to first, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. He'll one. Line to left. Yoshida makes the grab for the second out. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score, and not as lopsided as this, um, but yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. 
Chapman in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Chapman, 29 years old, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. Oh, and one now. And fires in a fastball at 95. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Good job at damage control right there. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Blue Jays eight, and the Red Sox nothing. Bottom of the six, and Leading stepping off. in for Boston, for Alex Sox. Verdugo. The right fielder. Well, every pitcher wants a run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Kicks and deals. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Kiermaier hurries it back in, and they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And next for the Red Sox, Masataka Yoshida. Swing and a base hit. Verdugo on his horse and around third. He'll score, and they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Man aboard, and here is Devers in there, and it's 0-1. Chris, you ready for a nugget? Ready. Rafael Devers homered in three straight games against the Yankees before he turned 21. The only other player to do that, Babe Ruth. Grounder off the pitcher. But there's no play. That's an infield single. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Could be a chance here for them to start now, clawing back into this ballgame. Here's the center fielder, Adam Duvall. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Movement in the bullpen. Jimmy Garcia up and loosening in the pen. Yoshida on second. Devers on at first with nobody out. Owen Chu now. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, first finding first all the holes in his first swing first. and his approach, just frustrating well, for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Casas well, in the box with one away as he takes ball one. In for a strike, and it's one and one. And that's outside. Here's a two one. And that one missing low. Runners at first and second with one gone. The kick, the 3 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two on, one out. 
Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Merrifield calls it in two away. Now batting the second baseman Christian Arroyo. Christian Arroyo up next for the Red Sox. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Pitch misses, oh. and it's a ball and a strike. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. And a foul ball left side. First and second, two down. Next offering is down low. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Next pitch way upstairs. On the ground right side. And that's just foul. On the ground to first. He'll do it himself. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Blue Jays eight and the Red Sox one. And we're back here at Fenway Park. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the Toronto catcher, Danny Jansen. Pavetta back to work. Fought off foul. He swings and fouls one off. And the pitch is outside, ball one. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Brennan Bernardino, the southpaw, is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. And a ball in two strikes. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Right hander kicks deals. Fouled off the plate, they'll do it again. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's gonna have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And the righty deals. Out to short into the outfield base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just a great now at bat that. right there. Saw Definitely a lot of pitches. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Dalton Varsho getting ready to hit. This one in the air right field. Verdugo running hard. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. What a way. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with pitches that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. And here is Santiago Espinal. Oh. I don't know how you take that. That was a strike. Next one misses two and oh. And that one fouled off. The two one. Into center and a base hit. 
Lead runner makes the turn at second. The throw in, and he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Swing and a miss. One and one. a count one and one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next pitch That's is two inside. Ball. Two and one. Two one Jansen at third. Espinal over at first with one away. And there's a foul ball. Two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number two. You know, the danger with the slider is leaving it out over the heart of the plate and getting contact on it. If you're going to miss, you want to miss towards the corners, not in the middle. Right there, he does a great job with hard break at the end. He ran it inside. Very difficult to do anything when you're tied up like that as a hitter. Merrifield in the box here lets that one go for a ball. In there at the knees, and it's one and one. Two on, two outs. Swing and a pop up. Makes the grab on the run. That is the inning. Blue Jays leave a pair, and it remains an eight to one game. Yimmy Garcia taking over on the mound. Left handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. Number 93, Yimmy Garcia. Here's Reese McGuire. Leading off for the Red Sox. The catcher, Reese McGuire. The pitch. Good oh. eye right there. That Go misses tonight. the zone. Two balls, no strikes. Next offering is foul back. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Right-handed reliever. That one fouled off. Two and two. And a pinch. That's that one off the mark. And that's ball three. Okay. Struck him out looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, oh, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little sure while. Fun. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Chang in the box again, takes a strike. That's the third. Fires over to Guerrero. Two up, two down. Now batting the designated hitter, Jared. Durant. Here now the Red Sox DH, Jaron Duran.
First oh. offering, and it just misses. And that's too high. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's a little high. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Bounce to the right. Guerrero takes it himself. That's the third out. Inning over. This one pretty well decided at this point. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Blue Jays eight and the Red Sox one. Back here in Boston. We're at the top of the eighth. Now the number two hitter, Kevin Biggio. Biggio. And the pitch. There's the strike. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And they get Biggio for the out. One down. Now batting. The first base. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And next for Toronto. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's already homered here in this one. Pitch misses inside, and it's one to know. To the left side, but it is well foul. One down, base is empty. That one at the knees for a strike. Pitch in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Outside. Three balls, two strikes. Fights it off. You'll see another. The wind in the pitch. In the air, right field. Verdugo gets under it. Puts it away for the out. The right fielder, number four, George. Two outs, base is empty. George Springer will hit next. That misses. Ball one. And downstairs. The wind to kick the 2-0. That's a strike across the top of the zone. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. And there's a strike. Three balls. Two Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Lifted in the air, right field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Up.
On to the bottom of the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And that's in for a strike. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Swings and sends a rocket to right. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. That was loud contact and a no-doubt double off the bat. I didn't know it was going to land in the bullpen, though, and he's really improving his accuracy out there. It's almost like he tried to do it. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Check swing, no appeal. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. That misses three and one now. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. Payoff pitch. Line drive, base hit. Yoshida coming home. He scores, and they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Comes through with the RBI. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. And now the center fielder, Adam Duvall. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Pitches in there. That's strike one. Here comes the 1. That's hard hit in the line. Kiermaier pulls that one down, and there's one down. Now batting, the first baseman, Tristan. And here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. That one the other way, and it stays fair. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Chapman with a relay throw, not going to get him. He's in there. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. So one out with two aboard. Now it's the second baseman, Christian Arroyo. First offering misses the mark. And another ball. Second and third here, one away. Off the mark there, ball three. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls, so that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. I know a slider's a great pitch, but when you've got really good velocity, sometimes you just got to challenge the hitter with that four seamer. And that's ball four. four. Thank you, the catcher, number three, Reese. Reese McGuire now McGuire. at the plate. Six run lead doesn't feel all that big right now based on the situation. Right, so. 
And that one is lifted in the air. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Well done. Drives in the run. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Hennessy's Cabrera. And you know, bullpen guys Your can struggle please. sometimes when they're called upon now with big leads board. because it just doesn't have the Number same intensity as a tight game. Hennessy. So we'll see how Cabrera. sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. So the bases are loaded here, one man gone. Now it's the shortstop, Yu Chang. That's a strike. It's 0 1. Casas on third, Arroyo. At second, McGuire. At first, one gone. Misses inside. And now it's even one and one. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Bullpen activity starting up now. Jordan Hicks, the closer of the staff, is throwing. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Caught him looking for the K. Fastball inside just freezes the hitter. I don't think he was ready to pull the trigger. A lot of times hitters are looking away, and that one locked him up. Back to the top of the lineup, and next is the designated hitter, Jaron Duran. First pitch just misses. What a no. There's a strike. The 1 1 is fouled off. Base is loaded, two down. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Two runs in the inning, but they strand three through eight full. It's the Blue Jays eight and the Red Sox three. John Schreiber gets the ball now. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers in their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Now Matt Chapman at the plate, looking to complete the cycle with a double. Oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. First offering in the dirt. Schreiber, the 6-2 righty. He features a slider, a four-seamer, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. And a swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. At the belt and fires. That clips the corner. Two two. Oh. Three and two. Stays alive. Three two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. So up next for Toronto, Danny Jansen. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And that's in there for strike one. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Brennan Bernardino getting loose out there. Let's go, Red Sox! 
That's in there. That is strike two. Got him. That's his second strikeout. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. And I'm so glad I'm retired. Varsho stands in now, looks at that one inside. Bounce back to the mound. And that one handled. No throw. He's safe at first. And now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. In there for strike one. Righty delivers. Not even close there. Now one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. So one hit is all they get. Two, three, four set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Blue Jays eight and the Red Sox three. Back here at the ballpark, bottom nine. Now it's the right fielder, Alex Verdugo. And a pitch. Ball one there. Activity in the bullpen. Eric Swanson getting ready to go. Into center. Kiermeyer moving under it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. The batter, the left fielder, Masataka. And the batter now, Masataka Yoshida. And there's the strike. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count. Then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. Come on, Red Sox. And now the 01. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. I think he's getting hit whether he tries to get out of the way or not. That just seemed to be tracking him out of the pitcher's hand. Devers, batting with one down, takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, now even back. if it's still no, in the strike field. zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Adam Duvall up next for the Red Sox. Now one oh. missed.
and it's one and one. The pitch. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Jansen moving under this one. Is just one strike away. That one out to right. And that'll do it. Well, a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. 8 3 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. <laughs>